Do insect player base judge human players? Let's find out. Insect players operate primarily based on instinct, sensory input, and survival needs. Their interactions with human players are usually guided by sensing danger or threat, attraction to resources, and avoidance or neutral interaction. Bug players and human players perceive the world in vastly different ways due to differences in sensory system, cognitive abilities, and survival needs. Here's a breakdown of the comparison. How bugs perceive the world. Number 1. Sensory Driven Perception Bugs rely heavily on their specialized sense to navigate their environment. Vision Many insects see the world through compound eyes, which are great for detecting moment and wide angles, but lack detailed resolution. Some can see ultraviolet light, which is invisible to humans. Smell Insects like moths or bees have incredible sensitive olfactory systems, often located in their antenna, which they use to detect pheromones, food or flowers from long distance. Touch and Vibration Many insects feel their environment through hairs on their body, detecting vibration or changes in airflow. Heat Detection Certain insects, example mosquitoes, can detect body heat, helping them locate warm-blooded host. Survival Driven Reaction Bugs respond instinctively to stimuli based on survival needs like finding food, avoiding predators, reproducing or seeking shelter. These reactions aren't thought out but are hard-drived behaviors. How Humans Interpret Bug Actions Humans often interpret insect behavior through our own emotional and cognitive lens attributing intentions or meaning to their action. For example, anthropomorphism. We might think a fly is annoying us or a spider is trying to scare us. But these are human projections. In reality, the fly is seeking food and the spider is minding its web. Fear or disgust. Many people react to bugs with fear or disgust due to cultural conditioning or instinctual aversion to potential threats like venomous or disease-carrying insects. Admiration or curiosity Conversely, people might view bees, butterflies, or fireflies as beautiful or hardworking, projecting aesthetic or moral values onto their behavior which are simply evolutionary adaptations. Now, another question comes to mind. With all this new info, why do bugs approach or avoid humans? While player A is bitten by lots of mosquitoes, player B is not. Why? Let's see. Bugs approach or avoid humans based on their survival-driven needs and sensory perception. Why bugs approach humans? Number 1. Food Attraction Flies Flies are drawn to humans because of sweat, oils, dead skin cell, and food residues. These provide rich nutrients for them. Mosquitoes Mosquitoes are attracted to carbon dioxide exhaled by humans, body heat, and certain chemicals in sweat like lactic acid and ammonia. Bees and wasps. These insects might approach humans due to bright clothing that resembles flower or the smell of sweet food or perfume. Moisture needs. Some bugs like flies and mosquitoes are drawn to the moisture on our skin, especially when we sweat, as it helps them survive in the dry conditions. Salt and minerals. Bugs like butterflies sometimes land on humans to extract salt or minerals from sweat, an essential nutrient for their survival. Shelter or resting spot. Insect may land on human as a temporary resting place, especially in shaded or warm areas. Why bugs avoid humans? Perceived threat. Rapid movements, swatting gestures, or loud sounds can trigger an instinctive flight response in bugs to avoid predation. Some bugs have evolved to associate human activity, example smoke, odor, or vibration with 
danger. Chemical deterrence. Some people use bug repellents like DEET, Chitronella, or Eclopters oil, which interfere with an insect's ability to locate humans. Preference for specific individuals. Not all humans are equally attractive to insects. Mosquitoes, for example, are more likely to target individuals with higher body temperature. A particular blood type, example type O, is most attractive. Certain natural body odor due to genetic, diet, or sweat composition also plays a role. Why bugs seem persistent? Limited understanding. Bugs are not consciously aware of human intention, example, trying to swat them. Their repeated approaches are due to instinctual patterns. Habituation Some bugs adapt to human movement or deterrence and may continue the behavior despite threats. In summary or in a nutshell, bugs approach humans when they detect food, moisture or chemical signals that align with survival needs and avoid humans when they sense danger or deterrence. So with this context in mind, a new question forms. How bugs react to human impact on habitats? Let's find out. Number 1. Destruction of Habitats Defensive behavior. When humans disturb insect habitats, example cutting down trees or destroying nests, bugs like bees, hornets, and ants may become aggressive and swarm in defense. Relocation. Insects like termites or cockroaches often invade human homes or structures when their natural habitats are destroyed. Environmental changes. Climate change, rising temperature caused by human activity can lead to shifts in insect migration patterns. For example, mosquitoes are expanding into previously cooler regions. Monarch butterflies adjust their migration timing due to altered seasonal cues. Deforestation, loss of forests forces insects to migrate or adapt, sometimes bringing them closer to urban areas. Water pollution. Stagnant water from human activities often become breeding ground for mosquitoes, increasing their population near human settlements. Pesticide use Bugs exposed to excessive pesticides may evolve resistance over generation, creating superbugs that adapt to survive despite human attempts to eradicate them. Overuse of pesticides can also disturb food chain, causing swarms of pests when natural predators are eliminated. Light Pollution Many insects are drawn to artificial lights at night which disturbs their natural behavior like mating, migration, or hunting. Moths, for example, are fatally distracted by lights which can reduce their population. Example of bug responses that resemble judgment Swarms of locusts. Human induced deforestation and agriculture practice can lead to locust outbreaks. These swarms seem like retaliation, but they are a survival mechanism triggered by changes in vegetation density. Aggression in bees or wasps. When nests are disturbed by human construction or landscaping, these insects may aggressively defend their colonies. This can feel like judgment for harming their habitat. Migration of fire ants Flooding caused by human activities, example dam construction, forces fire ants to form floating rafts and migrate often into human areas, creating new problems. Adaptation of urban pest Bugs like cockroaches, bedbugs, and mosquitoes thrive in urban environments due to human-provided shelter, food, waste, and water sources. Their proliferation can seem like judgment for poor sanitation or habitat encroachment. So with all this in mind, does that mean bugs are not intelligent? Do bugs not have social intelligence? In that case, bugs have shown forms of judgment like behavior, example, ants rejecting or accepting colony members. What does all this info and questions lead to? Let's find the final answer. Bugs display certain form of social intelligence, especially in species that lives in complex colonies like ants, bees, or termites. While they lack the complex cognition of humans, their behavior can sometimes mimic judgment-like decisions because of their reliance on evolved instinct, chemical signaling, and program responses. 
social intelligence in bugs. Social insects like ants, bees, and termites exhibit cooperative behavior that suggests a form of collective decision making or judgment. Colony member recognition, chemical identification. Ants and bees recognize colony members using pheromones or unique chemical markers on their exoskeletons. Rejecting intruders. If an insect lacks the correct chemical signals, it may be attacked or expelled. This judgment ensures the colony's safety from predators or rival colonies. Acceptance of new members. Some species may integrate outsiders if they adopt the colony's chemical cues or serve as a useful role. Example, parasitic ants. Task allocation. Insects like honeybees decide their role, worker, guard, and forager based on age, environmental needs, and pheromone signaling. This adaptability reflects a basic form of problem solving for colony success. Punishment and Reward In some ant species, workers that shrink duties may be attacked or disciplined by others. This enforces social order within the group. Resource Distribution Social insects often judge where to allocate resources. For example, honeybees perform waggle dances to vote on the best location for food or nesting sites. Is this judgment? Insect behavior can resemble judgment in the sense they evaluate and respond to stimuli based on specific criteria, but these actions are instinctive rather than conscious. Their decision making is rule based, driven by genetic programming, behavior hard drive for survival and reproduction, chemical communication, pheromones guide a complex interaction without requiring individual thought, environmental feedback. Responses to stimuli like threats, food source, or population density shape their action. Example of bug judgment like behavior Ant colonies. Ants rejecting invaders by detecting unfamiliar pheromones akin to identifying outsiders in human terms. Bee forging. Bees collectively decide the best food source to based on distance and quality, a form of communal decision making. Termite nest building. Termites coordinate intricate structures without a leader, responding to environmental cues as a group. So the key takeaway is, while bugs don't possess judgment in the human sense, rooted in conscious thought, morality, and cultural norms, they do exhibit decision-making behaviors that promote survival and cooperation. Their social intelligence emerges from instinctive programming and chemical communication, offering a fascinating, simplified parallel to human judgment and social interaction. So, do bugs judge us? In a nutshell, no. Bugs do not judge us. Yep, I'm sorry. Life is not a Disney movie, my friends. I'm sorry if I destroyed any imagination and dreams, but yeah, this is what science is. Astonishments and disappointments. It is simply what it is. They react to environmental changes, including those caused by humans based on their survival instincts, while their behavior like swarming, avoiding, or approaching humans might seem like judgment, their simple responses to stimuli like food, shelter, or threats. Bugs lack the cognitive ability for conscious judgment or moral reasoning, so any perceived judgment is purely instinctual and survival driven. If this video has disappointed you or throw all your colorful imagination out the window, then make sure to like and subscribe for more truth, answers and disappointments. Or if this video has filled you with a new profound perspective of these small beings, then make sure to comment and hit the bell as well. Until next time, keep on playing the life simulator.